video, we created a layout override to help with our SEO and rank better, get more traffic, and that's a good thing, right? Um, but similarly, whilst we're in this topic, I think it would be good to just show you how to make a layout change in one specific article. So if we come down and have a look at some articles and say we want to look at touristic parts of the Dominican Republic and here is the content of our page and say that we want to have a unique layout for a particular article, only one article. We could create a whole child template and assign it to just that one article and then we could edit that template. But there is an easier way. Um, Joomla have given us this option in, in layout. But usually these two will end up being the same, they use the same file. These two use the file um, that is the default article layout file. So how do we get one in here? So that's what we're going to have a look at now. So if we go close out the article for the moment and we're going to go back to system, site templates and we know that we have, uh, we need styles. So we know that we would be working in the Caribbean for our Punta Cana article, but we want something that's selectable for any, any article in future. So we want a default situation going on. So we need to create from the default an override that will be available throughout. So here's our, oops, we need to we need to go back to templates and we need to go Yeah, this is our default. This one is for our home. This one is our default. So and we can look in and we can see we've got our override that we created in the previous video. And this, this, this is default and it applies to every, every template within this layout style. But what we want to create is something different. So how do we do that? Well, this is getting picked up by convention because it's called default.php. So we really need to rename this. And you can't rename it in the editor. So you will need to use either FTP or within your hosting environment you will need to go into your file manager. Here we have SiteGround. Um, and let's have a look. We've got Cassiopeia. We've got nothing in there. We have got something in there, but we don't have any override. So this is the parent and this is our default where we have our article and our default code, what we edited in the last video. So if we just show and rename this to so now it's not going to get picked up by the Joomla system as default. We've renamed it. Now Joomla will pick up the old default previous version and we can go through and check check that if we have a look at look at our previous article um, so we'll go to Europe let's have a look through Greece pick one of our Greek articles it's still picking up the old one so we need to clean cache um, regular labs cache cleaner um, 
that's what I use for that if you're wondering, a real big time saver. So I've just used it, refreshed the page and now we've got back to our bad SEO system. That's fine, we expected that because I've now renamed that template, it won't apply. Um, this is just for demonstration purposes. So we want to go and have a look at our article. So we want it to apply to a single article only and we want it to the touristic parts of the Dominican Republic. So now we have an option here, SEO friendly. So we're going to click that, save and close. Cash cleaned, thank you. Regular labs, yeah, thank you regular labs. So if I refresh this, nothing happens because this page hasn't got that template selected. If we go back to our specific article, this was the one, we can see that it now has our SEO friendly title. So that's how you would do it for a single article instead of doing it for all articles. I'm now just going to go back in and rename because I do want it to apply to everything. Default.php. Let's clean the cache and see what's happened. It's still applied. So this is using my default template still. So, and if we go back to Greece Travel, I wanted Dominican, didn't I? No, I didn't want Dominican. I wanted. We can see that it's applied everywhere now, as expected. So yeah, thanks for the thanks for watching, and please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I don't do many videos, so you're not going to be spammed out by that doing that action, and it helps motivate me to add videos. And yeah, if, if I'm always happy talking about Joomla and issues you might have, so pop them down in the comments below. And yeah, happy web designing and developing. Thanks for watching, bye bye.